Hi everyone, welcome to today's GCSE Foundation Revision video. There's 58 days to go into GCSE math exam, so keep up the hard work, you're doing really, really well. And today we're going to be focused on the topic of changing the subject. So changing the subject, if for instance you've got an equation or formula, you might want to make a certain letter or variable of the subject. You might want to make it H equals or W equals, so you need to rearrange it and make that letter of the subject. Now, I really like this topic because I'm quite good at changing the subjects, not only in math, but also perhaps if I'm doing a lesson on such and such, and then I'll suddenly start going off on a tangent and changing the subject and talking about something else. Going off the tangent, that's another maths topic, parts of the circle. Same dinner now. <laughs> but parts, uh, but changing the, no, parts of the circle, but changing the subject is a really useful topic. I'm going to go through how, some questions on how to do it, and then there'll be some questions for you to try as well. So, uh, and just one more thing, if you've got the Core Manager Revision cards, card number 57 is a useful one for you so on changing the subject. So, let's get started. Hi, today we're going to be looking at changing the subject. So we're going to start off by looking at some examples and then I'm going to have some questions for you to try yourself. So our first question says, make D the subject of D plus 3 equals E. Now if you know how to change the subject, you feel confident, with, feel free to press pause and try this question now yourself. But here we want to make D the subject, that means we want D equals, so we want to get the D on its own. At the minute we've got this plus 3 here, so we want to get rid of this plus 3. So what we're going to do is we're going to subtract 3 from both sides. So we're going to subtract 3 from the left hand side, and we're going to subtract 3 from the right hand side. So if we subtract 3 from the left hand side, well we had D plus 3, we're going to take away the 3, so we'd just be left with the D, and that's why we took away 3 from the left hand side. In terms of the right hand side, we had E, we're taking away 3, so we're just going to have E subtract 3. And that's it. And as you can see here, we've got D equals, that means D is a subject. So answer would be D equals E subtract 3. And that's it. And if you got that, well done. Okay, let's have a look at another question. So our next question, then, we've been asked to make W the subject of M equals W over 8. So we want to make W the subject, so we want to get the W on its own. So at the minute, if we look at this right-hand side, we've got W divided by 8. So we don't want this divided by 8 here. So if we want to get rid of divide by 8, we're going to multiply both sides by 8. So we're going to multiply the left-hand side by 8, and we're going to multiply the right-hand side by 8. So M multiplied by 8, well, that's going to be 8 times M, or 8M in algebra, you just put them together, so that's 8M. And on the left hand side, we had W divided by 8. We multiply by 8 to get rid of the divide by 8, so we're just going to be left with W. So we'd have 8M equals W, or we could just turn this around to W equals 8M. So we've got W being the subject, W equals 8M. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So this time we've been asked to make X a subject of Y equals 5X. So we want to make X a subject. If you want to have a go at this now, feel free to press pause and try this question. Okay, so we want to make x a subject. So the first thing I notice is we've got 5 times x. We don't want this multiplied by 5, so let's divide the left-hand side by 5, and let's divide the right-hand side by 5. Well, y divided by 5, well, y divided by 5, we write as y over 5. That means y divided by 5. You just do the over 5, so that means y divided by 5. And on the right-hand side, we had 5 times x. We didn't want the multiply by 5, so we divided by 5, so we're just left with 1x, or just x, and that's it. So we've got that x equals y over 5, and that's it. So x equals y divided by 5, or y over 5. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So our next question says, make w the subject of y equals 9w plus c. So we want to make w the subject so we want to get the W on its own. So if we have a look at this right-hand side, we've got 9W plus C. So we don't want this plus C here, and we don't want this multiplied by 9. So let's get rid of the plus C to begin with. So what we're going to do is we're going to take away C from both sides of this formula. So let's take away C from the left-hand side, and let's take away C from the right-hand side. So on the left-hand side, we had Y. We then taken away C, so that would be Y take away C, or Y subtract C, because we had a Y, and that would take away C, so it would be Y subtract C. On the right-hand side, we had 9W plus C. We didn't want the plus C, so we took away the C, so we're just going to be left with the 9W. So we've now got that Y subtract C equals 9W. Now, we don't want 9W, we just want W, so we don't want this multiplied by 9, so we're going to divide the left-hand side by 9, we're going to divide the right-hand side by 9. So when we divide the left-hand side by 9, we had Y subtract C, we're dividing by 9, so it's Y subtract C all over 9, because we're dividing it all by 9. And on the right-hand side, we had 9w. Well, we divided by 9 to get rid of the multiply by 9, so we're just going to be left with w. So if we just turn this around, we're going to have w equals y subtract c over 9. And that's it. So we've made w the subject. Okay, let's have a look at a question now for you to try. So we've got make t the subject of v equals u plus at. So we want to make t the subject. So this is a question for you to try. So pause the video now and make t the subject. Okay, so if we want to make t the subject, looking at this right-hand side, I would want to get rid of this u, and I would want to get rid of the a. So let's get rid of the u to begin with, so let's take away u and take away u. So on the left-hand side, we had v, we're subtracting u, so we've now got v, subtract u. And on the right-hand side, we had u plus at, we subtracted u to get rid of the u, so we're just going to be left with at. Now on this right-hand side, we've got a multiplied by t. Now we don't want this a here, we just want the t on its own. So we're going to divide both sides by a, so we're going to divide the left-hand side by a, and we're going to divide the right-hand side by a. 
So on the right hand side, we had a multiplied by t, we divided by a to get rid of the a, so we're just going to be left with t, because if you had a t and you divided by a, you'd just be left with t. And on the right hand side, we had v subtract u, so we had v subtract u, and we just divided all of that by a. So we've got the v subtract u over a equals t, and if we just turn that around, we get that t equals v subtract u over a. And if you got that, well done. Okay, let's have a look at another question. So here's another question for you to try. It says, make W the subject of T equals AW subtract C. So can you make W the subject of this? Okay, so if we wanted to make W the subject of this formula, the first thing I would do is let's write out T equals AW subtract C. We want to get the W on its own, so let's get rid of this subtract C. So let's add C to the left-hand side of the formula, and let's add C to the right-hand side of the formula. So T plus C, that's just going to be T plus C. And on the right-hand side, we had AW subtract C. We added C to get rid of the subtract C, so we're just going to be left with AW. Now here we've got aw on the right hand side, we want to make w the subject, so we want to get the w on its own, so we want to get rid of this multiply by a. So let's divide both sides of the formula by a, so let's divide by a and divide by a. On the left hand side we had t plus c, and we're dividing that by a, so we just put over a. And on the right hand side we had aw, we divided by a to get rid of the multiply by a, so we just left with w. So we said w equals t plus c over a, and that's it. Okay, and our last question. Our last question says to make W the subject of C equals 4W plus H. So can you make W the subject of this formula? Okay, so actually before I start this question, I just want to point out that if you've got the Corp Miles revision cards, that this is actually on the Corp Miles revision card. So if you have the Corp Miles revision card, the card and change in the subject has this example for you. So if you want to make W the subject, the first step is you would subtract H from both sides. So you subtract H and subtract H. So you'd get that C subtract H equals 4W. Now we've got 4w, we just want to get the w on its own, so we're going to divide by 4 and divide by 4. So on the left hand side we have c subtract h over 4, on the right hand side we're just left with w. And that means if we turn it around we get w equals c subtract h over 4. And that's it, so we've made w the subject. So in this video we've looked at changing the subject, I highly recommend looking at the Corp Miles practice questions on changing the subject. And that's it, so in this video we've looked at changing the subject, and um, I really hope you find this video useful. It's quite a useful skill because you might be asked a question where it's just, you know, make such and such the subject of this, and you need to change the subject of that equation of formula, so that's a very useful thing to be able to do, to be able to change the subject with the questions just on changing the subject. But it might be that you're given a question where you might need to change the subject, perhaps, you know, solving an equation using the same skills. Um, but it might be things like an um, equation of a line, where it might not be in the form y equals mx plus c, and you might want to make y the subject to be able to find the gradient and the y-intercept and so on. So it's very important to be able to do changing the subject. So in this video, we've gone through changing the subject. I really hope you found it useful. If you have found it useful, please like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. So see you tomorrow at 3 o'clock for the next video. Cheers. Bye.